so the lower helm is finally finished. It has its final configuration. Got a little glare on the gauge there, but uh, the Aetna Engineering uh, tachometer is installed. This was the one that was installed that I selected before. It's a nice, pretty Jegs, and I'm going to take this home and bench test it and see how it behaves differently than the Aetna Engineering. Uh, but now we have the Aetna Engineering in there, um, and these are Faria um, gauges. I can't remember the name of the, uh, the style but it's easy to find. Uh, this is the Entratech fuel filter water detection gauge, voltage gauge. Um, we got uh, panel lights. I think this is wipers. I can't even remember. I've got labels for these. And then this is the horn. And the way the horn is set up, you can notice it's lit up. If I did not have uh, the horn power breaker power this light would not be there so as of right now it has uh power if uh if i didn't have the light i wouldn't have the horn so that's the way it's set up so you have a little bit of feedback that the horn is ready uh, i believe that is not how it is done up on the upper helm but before i go to the upper helm i can confirm horn power down here um so let's fire this up now i've already bench checked this Aetna engineering tachometer with two magnets which is what I have on my uh, uh, balancer on the engine with the Hall effect sensor so when we start this up it will be accurate um, and I, I will check it again I'll double check it but I'm it's it's gonna be accurate so uh, everything on the panel works all the alarms and everything is all wired in and works correctly so we have good uh, battery voltage, we've got panel lights, buzzer works because the oil pressure is at zero. So let's uh, fire it up. That's what I was looking for when I first set out to do this. And this is a huge used gauge, so it's not the prettiest gauge, but it's 100% functional. Uh, I've got an external regulator on the Balmar, so that's working. It's brought the, obviously the uh, alternator is putting out, and these are AGM batteries, so the output voltage of the alternator will be pretty high. Um, so, and also I've got the, uh, the matching gauge, analog gauge, the Faria gauge, up on the upper helm. So let's let this uh, RPM stabilize. Actually, let's set it to 1,000. close to it here. You can see how responsive that Aetna engineering tack is with the Hall effect sensor. It's very nice. 985. Let's go for a little more. It's, it's very useful to have something so accurate on the RPM. Alright, there's 990, 92. Close enough. Let's let it stabilize. enough. It's going up just a little bit as it stabilizes. Still climbing slightly. Good enough. Now let's go upstairs and check out the upper helm. See what that looks like. Doing this one-handed. So here's the upper helm that was also just recently wired up. So the lower one's just over a thousand and climbing slightly. So this one's at, uh, oh, I don't know, what is what would you say that is? Uh, about a thousand fifty, somewhere around there. So it's within 20 or 30 RPMs of the lower one. So the lower one I consider accurate. This one, I just want to see positive feedback when I'm up on the upper helm. Uh, we've got good voltage up here. This is also a uh, three amp charger. Temperature is coming up. Oil pressure is correct. Got the fusion stereo up here. 
this is the horn buzzer stop and start so everything is operational up here including the rudder cheap rudder angle Let's see if that works here yep. works fine when I sit when I do the Garmin system I'll have a different rudder angle but for now and I'll just leave that one in there for a backup of course so this upper helm is working good it stays on and as I came down to the lower helm to double check it is actually 1050 same as the upper helm so they're pretty close but again the upper helm is really just for uh, visual feedback for engine response and uh, you know it's nice to have it pretty accurate but uh, if I ever need to check accuracy on something this one will be the one 